I'm RC. This is Halo Reach. This is the seventh level. New Alexandria on Legendary. All schools on. No deaths. This is a speed run. This is actually the current world record. Eight minutes and 27 seconds. And I'm just going to kill both of my uh, marine assistants here. This is the part of Halo that makes me wish I could actually have orders to my allies and I could say everybody out because I don't really want to kill them and it, you know it gives me negative points. So, New Alexandria is highly random. One of the random starts is that there's this falcon coming from this side. I believe this is the south side and being chased by two banshees. They're scripted to follow along behind it and kill it and then once they kill it they move off. On Legendary, they kill it really, really quickly. But on Legendary, all skulls on because of the Mythic Skull, which doubles the health of everybody, including the Falcon and the Banshees and, and your own shields as well. Uh, they can actually spend enough time so that I can get in behind them while they're still scripted and steal one of these Banshees. And that turret you're going to have to take out, obviously taking quite a lot of damage from it. So all the main objectives are in a random order of three main objectives. There's the hospital, there's the Virant Tower, and there's the Synoviet Tower. So this is the hospital. Obviously that symbol means hospital, that blue symbol. I'm gonna knock off one of the wings so I can fly it straight through. You've got to be really quick going through that doorway. I can't recount to you how many times it is just slammed shut on my Banshee and I'm just left staring at a camera flailing about wildly and I'm being really frustrated and angry and wanting to kill the world. Anyway, one wing is going to have to be off for you to get down. You can uh, destroy both wings if you want. They'll be maneuvering a little bit more easily. Hit it. Get back in the Banshee until things start to despawn, like now, and then get back out. It's going to look like an edit, but it's not. That is actually what happens, I promise you. You can go download the film, it's still on my Halo Reach file share, hello.xbox.com, put in Ultimate RC. Seriously, watch it on your own Xbox and see it with your own eyes, that's what happens. So many people have called me a cheater for that, but I never cheat, like that's the whole point, that of not cheating. Actually gets teleported out. So basically when you get back in the Banshee, the game thinks that you must be outside because you're back in a vehicle because it doesn't expect there to be a vehicle inside the hospital. So it starts to deload the hospital area and there must be some kind of safety net for co-op that's built into the game so that it says if there's anybody inside the hospital when we're trying to deload it, take them outside of the hospital. So that's what I exploited. And so obviously getting in with the Banshee is really quick but getting teleported out is even quicker. So, uh, there are also two side missions uh, that are randomly selected from a group of 12. In fact, there are four sets of three different missions. There are three book missions where you have to escort his falcon. There are three missions where Covenant are up to no good. Three missions where Covenant are fighting friendly UNSC forces on the same rooftop. And three missions where Covenant are fighting friendly UNSC forces on a different rooftop. So the one I got there was the Hunters, that's one of the best ones because you can just kill them and get on with it. You don't have to wait for Pelicans to come inbound and pick up Marines. Now I'm actually here so quickly that the doors inside to the Club Herrera, and if you know the name Herrera you'll uh, <laughs> be part of the same groups I am. But anyway, now I'm inside, I'm just going to run past everyone. Taking them out on Legendary Oscars on pain in the ass, and if you're quick enough just got to time your sprints right, hit it, jump sideways so you're not getting blasted in the face with fewer guns. Uh, I like to cut off the corner a little bit there and also have to, I find it a little bit easier to run past that one on the ground floor than the one on the top of the stairs. Then I'm out and sometimes you can get shot in the back with fewer guns. That's actually happened a few times. When I'm back outside, there are no enemies left. So that is the second main objective done. Now, there's no way to tell what it is, which one you're going to get for your main objectives, what order they're going to come in, and which side objectives you're going to get. So all you have to do is you come outside and you start looking around trying to see any sort of clues. And then once Cat starts talking, you can probably tell within a few seconds which one it is, because they all have unique sort of radio introductions. This one is also not too bad, because it's another one that you can just kill enemies and get out of there. 
but you do have to do a little bit of flying. Basically, the randomness of this mission is the hardest part of it to get a really good speed run down. Like, if you've got 15 minutes, uh, you can deal with any, pretty much any eventuality. There's only one that's on the Stereol Skulls on, but that's right outside the Virant Tower where you get the elites and engineers that are up to no good or whatever and you have to kill them on legendary old schools on there's like three or four engineers protecting the elites and that one can be extremely difficult it's possible I've done it but that's the one one you can have trouble with every other mission you can doesn't matter you can have done it under 15 minutes under 10 minutes you're gonna have to get the right sort of missions execution isn't so much the problem on this level just a mad amount of persistence Okay, this is Synoviet Tower. Final one. The ideal route would be hospital first. You get then ones that I call tree view apartments. There's a pelican, it's being shot by three shade turrets. And then you would go to this one for your second mission. And then you'd fly over to the DMBN Financial, which is the one, the second, the side objective, sorry, that I got the first time. That's pretty good because you can just kill the hunters and fly away, like I said and then go into the Virant Tower and then you're right next to the Oni Tower. That's not what I got. And if you could get that one, you could get it this under eight minutes. And that would be really close to the other level difficulties. Because it's only really the last area that you really slowed down at. Because obviously you have to kill all these shade turrets. And you're not even slowed down that much. So you obviously can just... <laughs> Sorry, there's a lot to talk about on this mission. I apologize. If I'm uh, talking about things that have already happened or are about to happen, Synovia isn't a particularly difficult one. I posted a video on my channel like years ago now, one of the first videos I posted on here, going like, oh my god, you can pick up the uh, armor abilities and it can, if you set them up in the right way, it can be like you can constantly sprint out. Not necessary, and there's health packs right next to the elevators, so dying there is extremely rare if you, as long as you know where to get out. Now, coming out of Synovia Tower, yep, from that direction is one of the better ones because you can see this phantom and you can shoot at it from a very long distance. And you, on Legendary, you can get it dead before it even drops the first one. And so that's two of the shade turrets you have to take out at once. Now, I took it out just after it lost, killed just after it dropped the first one so obviously still save time for it going to fly over to the next rooftop and drop it but in terms of the side missions and stuff it's still probably going to be better to do that route that I described earlier and then here you don't have to deal with any of the banshees, don't have to deal with the rest of the phantoms concentrate on the shade turrets, kill them and then you're done and you do want to keep moving as well because Although the Banshees will all bug out as soon as you've killed all the Shade Turrets, like they're doing now, while you're killing them, you have to keep moving and ideally have to keep high. And you're really going to have to be good with aiming on your Falcon as well, otherwise you're just going to be hitting around them and it's going to be useless. So, just going to move it up to landing platform, going to get out for the hell of it. Level over. It's 8 minutes, 27 seconds. That is the current world record. I don't think it has actually ever been posted on the internet until now. I submitted it to the high-speed ALO ages ago, but it's not been posted yet. So, consider yourself privileged and lucky, <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed it. I'm RC, and hopefully I will be seeing you very, very soon.